Good morning. I've been back to work now for a month after being on furlough. Um, I am enjoying it. I've been uh, picking blackberries outside work uh, and just enjoying that fruit. Um, obviously, with the the beautiful fruit on the bushes, it it doesn't come easily. There's some pain to go through to be able to pick those. Um, getting a lot of spikes and thorns in my hand, oof, they really hurt, but the fruit is worth it. And I've been thinking about a lot of things really about what I could share with you and nothing's really tied in, but uh, praying to the Lord and asking him what to speak about, I felt that maybe, you know, picking that, that fruit, um, was the start of my talk today. So really I want to talk about the fruit that the Lord has for us. You know, the Lord went through uh, pain and heartache and he was spat upon, he was whipped. You know, he, I was thinking of the, the thorns from the blackberries, you know, it gives you a a sting and the break off in your hand but it's nothing compared to the the thorns that uh, our Lord our Father God uh, Jesus had thrust upon his head you know just a little sting in my hand for a bit of fruit were worth it but you know just to take that pain of just just the crown of thorns alone for me, is enough. Never mind being nailed to the cross. You know, the suffering was unbelievable. And I, it's probably daft, but the way I see it, I was sat in my lounge the other day and I was sat still just after tea and there were a fly flying around. And that fly landed on my face. And I chose to put up with that fly on my face. It was very hard, very difficult. But I had to shrug it off in the end, you know. I couldn't do with it on my face. I felt dirty, it was horrible. You know, and that's just a silly little fly. You know, the Lord chose... To take the pain for us on that cross. I started thinking about Jesus. You know the crown of thorns were put on his head. That my pain. My little jabs in my hand from the fruit was nothing. And I was thinking about the strength of the thorn. You know uh, there's a small thorn with blackberries. But actually to have a proper crown of thorns being put on your head. Not only did Jesus have a crown of thorns on his head, but it was nailed to the cross. He chose to take that unbelievable pain. You know, it's unbelievable, really. You know, I was, I was thinking, imagine how we would feel, not just a fly on your face, but Im imagine how we'd feel with a crown of thorns on our head, with sweat dripping down, down our head and blood and having your hands, obviously not nailed to a cross, but having your hands tied up and knowing you can do nothing about it. Now, Jesus could do everything about it and he could get himself off that cross, but you know, the only reason why we're here today and the only reason why God loves us so much is because God sent his son to die on that cross to take that suffering. I can flick a fly off my face, but, you know, God actually chose Jesus to, to die. What a saviour we serve. You know, I, I say a lot. 
at work, you know, after each day, you know, another day in paradise. It's not paradise, you know. We we just we live to work at the moment. Sorry, we work to live. And I was thinking about the the song, you know, after after all this pain and that Jesus had been put through. A verse came to my head, and it, it's a song, and. It, it's, I can only imagine what it would be like when I walk by your side. I can only imagine what my eyes could see, what your face is before me. I can only imagine, surrounded by your glory, will I dance for you, Jesus, or in awe of you be still. To my knees will I fall, Will I sing hallelujah? Will I be able to speak at all? I can only imagine what that day would be like. Standing in the sun, I can only imagine when all I will do is forever worship you. In Hebrews 12, 2, it says, Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for the joy that was set before him endured the cross, despised the shame, and is set down at the right hand of the throne of God. God loved us so much, you know. This is the reason why we're here. And in John 3.16 it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son that whosoever believes in him should not perish, you know, should have everlasting life. God bless you today.